um, I really wanted to touch on on maps. <laughs> yeah you know yeah, let, let, let's let's do let's do the maps the your four maps in the front of books i am yes so <laughs> it's it's really funny i would have thought before i was like on instagram seriously and before yeah. i saw a video last week that like it was either people were like really into the maps or just like super indifferent like yeah. <laughs> like they just don't think about them or whatever because yeah. i've always been you know anytime there's a map in a book i'm always like really interested in it I can like kind of study it and like look at it yeah. and like I like exploring the world through the map a lot and like even when I'm looking like when I'm selecting a new book like if if I'm not at a bookstore I'll just go on Amazon and just do the mm. read sample and like look at the map yeah so you like there's something I'd be interested <laughs> yeah so it's like not not judging a book by its cover but judging a book by its map essentially <laughs> yeah like, well this all right this I can get into this yeah. this looks like yeah. there's a lot going on yeah um so I figured there's people that liked maps or just didn't care. And then yeah. and I still don't know if, if it's a big majority of people, but like um I've seen a few videos with people on Bookstagram being like, I don't like when there's maps in the beginning because it's <laughs> like I don't want homework before I read it, read. And I'm like, well, it's not homework. Like if you don't want to look at it, that's it's just there. Like um you can you can skip it very easily. Yeah. Um it's there if you need it, basically, is what my my thought always was. So I was just always really surprised by that, um, yeah. that kind of thing. And then um, I've I've um, talked with Amy and stuff a lot, and it, uh, he's a really good guy. But I would thought that was the funniest video when he came out. I was like, what? Um, <laughs> <laughs> and especially it was so funny because he mentioned Joe Abercrombie because I was yeah. reading those books. And like I was, the whole time I'm reading them, I'm like, I wish there was a map. <laughs> and I didn't know that he has actually like been on records like saying that he doesn't really care for maps, I guess. Yeah. Um, I re I went and found his statement and it was, I don't think he was like vehemently against maps. Yeah. I think he's slightly. No, yeah. You know, personal preference kind of, you know. yeah. Yeah. Pre personal preference. So I was like, that's so funny. Cause like his book specifically, I was like, these could use a map. I think I would really <laughs> enjoy having a map for these. <laughs> um, and then I found out that he, he um, personal preference. Um, yeah. And ultimately, obviously, it's all all personal preference. Like, yeah. I, it doesn't doesn't phase yeah. me too much. I just thought it was the funniest thing because it's yeah. one of those like it's one of those blind spots you have where when you love something so much and then yeah. you hear the opinion that someone does and you're like you're like what <laughs> I don't know this yeah. opinion could exist, yeah. um, but here we are. Um, yeah, so it, it is pretty it is pretty funny. Um, and again, I think not only like is it is it obviously it's personal preference, but I think yeah. also like it should only just enhance like the book needs does need to function without it like yeah, it should yeah, all the yeah. text should be there yeah. um if you never if you don't have the map the book shouldn't be worse for it yeah, yeah. although there are, are those cases i guess i was reading yeah. like the first law trilogy i was like i'd like one um so, so it's like one of those funny things like it enhances it yeah. for some people and it do, it does help out